What's up guys, CP Moddy here, back with another video. Now the other day I was using my computer doing some editing and some work and stuff and a little notification from the Nvidia driver popped up saying that there was updates available. As I have done for the past like three or four years now, I went ahead and clicked it away and continued on my day. But then that got me thinking, what exactly am I missing out on and am I actually getting better performance than people with those who have actually gone ahead and updated their drivers? Or maybe I'm losing out in performance. So today we're going to be testing original drivers versus the latest ones and see whether you're losing out any performance or actually gaining any performance by updating to the latest versions. Now there's plenty of rumor theories out there saying that Nvidia and AMD are both kneecapping the old cards so you go ahead and buy new ones and so it also too makes it easier for them to get up on stage and say that their brand new card is two times faster than their old one when in reality it might be only one times faster but they've bottlenecked and kneecapped the old one so much that it looks like a 2x performance increase. So let's see whether old drivers actually perform better than the new counterparts. Now for testing today I didn't want to test the latest generation of video cards as well, they're kind of new and there would be no point for Nvidia or AMD to go ahead and well kneecap them because there's nothing else to actually replace them. So we grabbed some older video cards from the 600 and 700 and also to 900 series to go ahead and do our testing. I also too went ahead and actually used the original DVD drivers for the first release release and then also to a couple others that I grabbed off the internet's archive section to go ahead and well test out our versions. So let's go ahead and take a look at our benchmarks and see what we've got and take a look at these numbers it actually looks like there's no real performance decrease rather there's actually a performance increase. This most likely is due to the fact that the original drivers that we got on this weren't the full optimized versions and if we were to go ahead and take a look at the second or third version we would see a slightly better performance increase. However but with that being said, original drivers versus the latest ones definitely getting a lot better there. Now this is most likely down to the fact that Nvidia actually are working on better improvements. The original driver set is going to have a few bugs because most likely that was pushed out the door as fast as possible to get the product to market. However, a few years later, and in the case of the 600 series, quite a few years later, we definitely have a lot of time to work on these cards and get better performance out of them. However, with that being said, one thing that I did notice was on the Pro App side, there was actually a decrease in stability on some of the different videos. Video cards. For me, being on the 600 series on my personal system, I did notice a slight uh, stability decrease when I went ahead and ran the latest and greatest drivers. For some reason, Premiere Pro, After Effects, and also to some more other 3D Pro applications started crashing more often than they did when they weren't running the latest drivers. So for me, I rolled back one iteration of drivers and everything seemed to be fine. This shows, whilst there is definitely a performance increase, sometimes the latest drivers don't actually go ahead and will provide the same level of stability as previous generations. Whether this is on Nvidia or AMD side or whether it's on the application developer side, at the end of the day, whilst it's good for gaming performance to be on the latest version, sometimes it may not be as great for the pro application market. And it does sort of look very unclear from Nvidia and also to AMD standpoint. Whilst we mainly focus on Nvidia today, it's kind of hard to tell whether these companies are actually kneecapping and bottlenecking their old cards to make you buy the latest generation or not. Even though I'm I'm still on the 600 series video cards, I'm still seeing a performance increase when I upgrade my drivers. So for me, it's kind of hard to tell whether they want me to go ahead and buy new ones or whether the new ones are just there and they're an option and they're still going to be working on old generation graphics cards. However, with that being said, there are still definitely versions out there like 375.86 that did cause some issues for gamers and also to other people out there where they were seeing lower FPS, but overall sort of, well, you're actually going to be seeing better performance and TLDR time of this video. Are you going to be losing out performance by going to the latest drivers? Absolutely not. You'll be seeing better performance, better optimization, and depending on the video card, you may even see better temps and speeds as drivers can also to dictate this kind of stuff and manufacturers may just do a better job at putting out new releases. There are definitely releases of drivers that do tank performance, so that is definitely a thing, but it doesn't look like that AMD or Nvidia are going out of their way to actually kneecap all the cards to make you buy new generations. It just seems that newer games take advantage of newer cards. So should you update? 
probably that would be the best idea and definitely after I finish making this video, I'll be updating all of my systems. Otherwise guys, thanks for watching and let me know down in that comment section whether you update your drivers on day one or you're a little bit more like me and kind of leave it till sort of a latest possible to go ahead and do your updates. Otherwise guys, thanks for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.